Last year, Milwaukee came out with their three quarter inch cordless impact, which was the strongest cordless impact on the market. But they said that wasn't good enough, so they came out with their one inch impact, which is now the strongest impact on the market. Can't wait to see what the inch and a half one will do next year. But we're gonna put both of these side by side just as a comparison on this 988B Caterpillar payloader because uh, big, big toys require big tools. Here we go. Like it wasn't even on there. Nice, let's go find some bigger stuff. All right, so without batteries, the three quarter inch weighs about six pounds. Uh, without the battery, the one inch gun with the handle weighs about 10 pounds, so four pounds more. So this one inch is not really meant for automotive at all. It's meant for heavy equipment, but also when you're putting up skyscrapers and putting steel I-beams and that together, um, this is kind of the tool that you want. Uh, the problem is we don't have any skyscrapers local. I've been asking around to see if I could get on a job site and, and see the practical use of this. Unfortunately, we're stuck on stuff like this, but just as cool. So this is a 988B Caterpillar payloader, but I can say with a certain degree of certainty that some of these bolts have not been loosened in the last 40 years. Let's see if Milwaukee can change that. All right, so for each one of these tests, we're gonna be using the same battery. This is the nine amp hour. We've got full four, bu four bars on it, uh, just to make sure that we're not doing an unfair advantage between one or the other. This is an inch and seven eighths nut. So let's see if it can take this off. Well, that, <laughs> that went very easy. I'm gonna have a hard time finding stuff for this one inch gun to do. I cannot. I will be surprised if the one inch does it, honestly, but let's give it a go. All right, I didn't think, I didn't think it would. I don't think that bolt is ever coming out. Let's see if we can tighten the nut with this gun and see if the three quarter can take that off. And it can. So this is the main pivot for the lift cylinder and I can guarantee that this nut has not been off probably since this is new and I should look up how old this thing is see if she can do it. I cannot Let's see if the one inch can do it. <laughs> Found one. That's hot. <laughs> There's a lot of energy in that. So it is able to take it back off again. But that's. 40 years of rust in our Canadian salty climate. All right, so if you've ever replaced an edge on a bucket, you know it's a pain in the ass. Basically, you grab torches, but let's see if our little guns can make a little bit cleaner of a job. Uh, Oxyacetylene's expensive. I can guarantee that hasn't been off in a while. <laughs> let's see if the three quarter can do it. take all that dust off. Let's see if the one inch can do it.
not? Let's try another one. So it's coming. Okay, so the one inch gun actually took that nut loose. The problem is it's a carriage bolt at the bottom and now, now the bolt is doing this inside the gun and I'm losing that tight snap, which is what the impact is meant for. If I was able to hold the back of it properly with, uh, with a wrench, we would be able to spin this off all the way. We got it tight again. You can see that the threads are all damaged at the top, which is partly why the nut won't come off. I've never seen a gun take a, one of these nuts off yet, actually, so I'm very impressed. If we had the actual impact socket, not these cheap Chinese whew, <laughs> sockets, I'm sure we could get that nut off. Thing is, I'm not gonna buy a couple thousand dollar socket set, impact socket set, um, just for these because it's not even my machine. <laughs> All right, so this is the claw that's on the end of the Senebogans at the scrapyard. This gets used all day, every day. Uh, this is the magnet uh, that you can turn on and off. And the problem is these bolts work themselves loose without the operator really knowing. Um, by the time they realize that it's loose, what's happened is the threads have been damaged and stretched and you'll find these bolts get tight. You'll, you'll back them off and then they'll just get in a tight spot and then that's it. All right, now we're down to we're down to two bars on our battery and I had another battery charged another 9 amp battery But since we started making these videos me and I went out and bought all Milwaukee tools and somebody stole my battery uh, They have mostly the 5 amps in there and somebody's running around the yard with my 9 amps So we're gonna have to do this with a two bar battery see, see what happens. We'll start with the three-quarter This is an inch and a half socket. I don't know what that is a metric, but an inch and a half fits so we'll start with um, basically the gray is going to line up right here. We'll see if that turns. I don't think that tightened any. Let's see if we can get even a sixteenth of a turn will be impressive. P was here and now it's here so that that's pretty impressive that um, a bolt that was already tight we managed to tighten it another I don't know 16th of a turn we'll go with that let's see if uh, the three-quarter can take that loose Now, if you're wondering why the three quarter can crack loose the bolts that the one inch gun tightened, it's because there's more torque on the release than there is on the tightening. We tried tightening it with the three quarter inch and it couldn't tighten that nut anymore. When we tightened it with the one inch gun, we got another turn about that much, which is extremely significant when you're thinking it's already bottomed out and we're able to stretch those threads that much more. All right, so I can say without a doubt that this is the most impressive cordless gun that I've ever tried. I did not think that it would take that nut off of that shear plate. 
if you guys have any comments on uh, on what we can use this gun for, definitely comment down below. We're out of options for today. We went to the biggest machine on the yard and it was able to take not only the bolts out for the pivots, but also the shear plate, which I am very impressed with. So if you are in the heavy equipment um, industry, this is something that you're definitely gonna wanna look at. So thanks for watching guys. Remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich. Let's do the drop test. Ready? That didn't crack, so that's good. I'm not gonna drop it from any higher than that, <laughs> but um, that's just one of those things. So um, yeah, here we go.